Hey guys, let's take a quick look at reading and writing decimal numbers. So let's define what a decimal is. It's just a handy way of writing numbers with fractions, you know, without having to write fractions. Now we all read this 3.7, but we can also uh, read this 3 and 7 tenths, right? All right, if somebody were to read this, it'd be 3 and 72 hundredths, right? This one would be 3 and 725 thousandths. Yeah, you could just keep going. Each time you just multiply by 10. Like this would be 3 and 7,256 10 thousandths with a THS at the very end. So that's how you read place value. Okay, let's do a couple of these. Read this number. Write it with words. I'm just going to speak the words so you don't have to, don't have to write this thing. So this number is read this way. 4,160 hyphen five, and that's what the decimal is, 3,987 ten thousandths. The, the reason I know it's ten thousandths is because this is tenths. That's 10 times 10 is a hundredths. Then a hundred times 10 is a thousandths. Then a thousand times 10 is a ten thousandths. There you go. And you would say 3,980 hyphen seven ten thousandths. Okay, let's write this one. All right, that's going to be 7,108,000 and 100. All right, so I got tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. So this is going to be and 21,578 hundred thousandths, like that. There you go. Okay, now let's go backwards and write this, which which is in English, to a, to numerals. So I have fifteen, <clears throat> and indicates a decimal. Thirty one hundredths. Thirty one. Boom. There we go. Okay. How about this one? Two hundred three and twenty five thousandths. All right. Well, that first part's easy. Two zero three and. Now twenty five thousandths is, is slightly tricky if you haven't done these before. You might be tempted to go, oh, 25, th got it. Okay, but if you read that off, you gotta notice that that's a tenths, and then 10 times 10, hundredths. So that's actually 25 hundredths. You don't want that. You want 25 thousandths. One way to do this, if you're not sure, is to force yourself to go, okay, I, I gotta count these things off by 10, All right? That's my tenths, 10 times 10 is 100, that's my hundredths, 100 times 10, that's my thousandths, there we go. 25 goes at the very end so that the last, the five goes at the very end to the right, then I have to put a zero there if there's nothing there. That's 203 and 25 thousandths. Okay, all right. We're gonna add and subtract decimal numbers next. I'm not gonna bother to go through all this. I just wanna make sure you know, you know this, just you tell me. Let's say you're explaining to a little kid, a brother or a sister or a very smart pet that you have about how to add and subtract decimal numbers. What's the one rule you need to make sure you tell? Okay, 6.231, okay. Times, or excuse me, plus 0 0.04. In other words, you add up the decimals, right? Okay, and you don't go on the rug. Okay, that's, that's your smart pet though, Never mind. Okay, just make sure you, you line up the decimals and so on. All right, that's easy to do that. Now, subtracting is a little different. You still add up or line up the decimals, 6.23. I wouldn't worry about this yet. Let's just line up the decimals first. Point zero four four. Now you can put the subtraction so you don't get kind of, you know, confused. But anyway, if there's nothing there, go ahead and stick a zero. Then you're just going to subtract right down. I'm not going to bother to do it, but make sure you have it exactly correct so you don't uh, just make sure you have the decimals lined up. Okay. Last thing we're going to do is round decimal numbers. We're going to round this to the nearest ten thousand th, which means we're going to have to count off and figure out which one's the ten thousand, right? So we know it's going to be this part right here, two twelve point something. All right, tenth, hundredth, thousandth, and then ten thousand, right? So that's the number we need to make kind of figure out which one is what. All right. So we look to the right. Is this a five or greater? Obviously seven. is greater than five. So we're gonna go one, zero, one, six, and then round the five up to six. Now let's read this just for the heck of it, all right? This is 212 and 166 ten thousandths. 
It won't be 166,000, that'd be 0.166 with no zero. Okay, all right, let's try another one. Round that to two decimal places, it's a piece of cake. All right, there's the two decimal places right there. Look over to the right, that's not a five or greater, so it just stays like that. There you go, okay. All right, on page 26, you can do these all at once if you want and pause them all at the same time, or you can just do A and then pause it. So at least go ahead and do A, and then uh, pause it and then do A and come back when you're finished. Okay, together let's do this. Uh, we're gonna write this number 5,000 and, so in other words, we got 5,000 and 42 10, excuse me, 5,000 and 742 10 thousandths, my bad. 742 10 thousandths. So if you're not sure, just go, okay, I got, I'm looking for 10 thousandths. So here's my tenths, here's my hundredths, Here's my thousands, here's my ten thousands. They want 742, you got it. 742, boop, a zero right there. Okay, pause it and try B. Okay, we have 642 and 75 thousandths. Well, for thousands, you need this for tenths, this for hundredths, this for thousands. They want 75 thousandths, it needs to go to the very end, yoink zero there okay all right pause it and try C okay C I'm just gonna read this off so you'll, you can check yours C will be 7,000 and 60 make sure you have a hyphen 60 hyphen five thousandths thousands okay pause it and try D all right D will be 42 and now this is the tricky part. Let's go to zero, 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 six, one, seven. It, you know it's gonna be 617 somethings, right? So zero, we got tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, and millionths. It'll be 617 millionths this time. Okay, pause it and try E. Okay, I'm not gonna even bother to give you the answer for E. All I need you to do is make sure you have 44 Point zero one six, and you've lined up the decimals here, and this needs to be a zero right there. Okay, pause it and try F. Okay, F piece of cake. Just line those three up. I'm not going to bother with the answer. Uh, F needs to be. All those need to be lined up. So pause it and try G. All right, we're going to round this G to the nearest hundred thousandths. Okay, so we have this is our number four point uh, four one six. Point zero four two seven three seven. Now, hundred thousandths is what they want. There's your tenths, hundreds, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousand. That's the number we're concerned about. Look to the right. That is five or greater. So we're going to write this thing over. Four hundred sixteen and point zero four two seven four is your answer rounded. All right. Go ahead and pause it and try G. Okay, let's take a look. That is what you have, and that's gonna be, oops, that's a two, four, and eight. Round that to the nearest 10 thousandth. Well, there's a tenth, hundredth, thousandth, 10 thousandth. Look over, this is not five or greater. It's just gonna, just gonna stay just like that. There we go. Okay, that is it for decimals and numbers and running. See you guys next time, thanks.